what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or network issue you're currently having with team fortress 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issues before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that So anyways, I would just say let's get right started So the first step is gonna be to basically Take your keyboard click the windows and the R key at the same time and uh, Type in CMD once this tab pops up. So just simply type in CMD hit enter then this tab should pop up and I want you to type in what I'm going to type in. So it's basically space ipconfig slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, you should be able to end this task again. Next step is going to be to go to the very bo left button of your screen, clicking onto the Windows symbol, clicking onto settings, navigating right into network and internet and clicking as the first step onto the very bottom network and troubleshooter using Windows in order to find any kind of issue. If nothing pops up, click onto Network and Sharing Center. Navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto the second link where it says Change Adapter Settings. And stick to the first one where it says either Internet or Ethernet, just depends on which one you're currently using. Right click that, click onto Disable. Once it is disabled, enable it again. But simply right clicking it, obviously. So the enabling process could take quite a few moments, so just wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to just simply end this task and return back to your network and sharing center. Once you did that, click onto the blueprint text where it either says internet or ethernet again. Properties. Double click, inter double -click internet protocol, protocol version 4. Enable use the following DNS server addresses. On the preferred DNS server, type in the Google DNS server address or 4 times 8 and at the bottom the same thing or 2 times 4 and 2 times 8 afterwards hit ok and apply that's it for the video guys i hope that i could actually help you out of this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm gonna really be thankful for that and yeah guys i'm really sorry if i couldn't help you but i'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out either way i hope you guys have a wonderful day see you the next one and bye